Collagen has been around for a long time. But back in the old days, the only way they could break it down for the body to use it was to put it in an acid bath and it would ruin the chemistry, the amino acids. And then somebody said, well, maybe we can pasteurize it. You know, whey protein has been pasteurized. Uh, they told us today that the absorption rate is only 53%. That's why the boards are warped. The body can't use it. So as this technology begins to advance, they started looking at the cell structure of the human body. You're made up of 70 trillion little stores. They're little bitty cells, 70,000 miles of highway. And somewhere, the, somewhere, those little trucks have to go down 70,000 miles of highway, stop at 70 trillion stores and fill it back up. Now, 70 trillion is a lot because if you tried to count to a million, you'd get there in 12 days. If you kept counting to a billion, it would take you 32 years. And if you went all the way out to one trillion, it would take you 32,000 years of seconds to count to a trillion. That's a lot of cells going 70,000 miles. And so the only way, the only way to get amino acids into the human body, into all those cells over that far a distance, they have to become very small, nano small. And that's where enzymes, fruits, like pineapples and strawberries, they can go in there and they can hydrolyze it. They make it water soluble. And they break down those big old chunks that the body can now use. So this particular hydrolyzed collagen has been enzymed prepared, not with acid, not with pasteurization, not with chemistry, with enzymes. And that makes it bioidentical. That means that every cell of your body, the brain that wants to think, the heart that wants to pump, the energy that wants to be released, they have to come out of those stores. And that's a lot of places that it has to go. And the only protein on the world market is an enzyme hydrolyzed collagen that can go everywhere, every time.